Good afternoon, Mr. Hernandez. I'll ask you to please keep your voice up and speak slowly and distinctly for the benefit of everybody in this large courtroom. Counsel, you may inquire. Thank you, Your Honor. Good afternoon, Mr. Hernandez. How are you doing? Mr. Hernandez, how old are you? 23. Do you go by any other names? Yes. What are those names? Takashi, Takashi69, Bix, yeah. Mr. Hernandez, where were you born? Bushwick, Brooklyn. How far did you go in school? About the 10th, 11th grade or so, like that. Mr. Hernandez, are you currently in federal custody? Yes, sir. Approximately when did you start living in federal custody? About November 18th, 2018. What were you arrested for? Racketeering charges, you know, violent crimes, shootings, drug distribution. At some point, did you decide to cooperate with the government? Yes. When did that happen? A day after, November 19th, the day after we was taken down. In connection with your cooperation, have you pleaded guilty to certain crimes? Yes. What crimes did you plead guilty to? I believe it was nine counts of racketeering, shootings, and drug distribution. You listed racketeering as one of the crimes to which you pleaded guilty. Were you a member of any gang? Yes, sir. What was the name of the gang that you're a member of? Nine Trade Bloods. Nine Trade Bloods. Approximately when did you become a member? Around, I would say, November of 2017. What sorts of things did Nine Trade members do? I'm sorry? What sorts of things did Nine Trey members do? We participated in a lot of, you know, violent crimes, robberies, assaults, drugs, stuff of that nature. Mr. Hernandez, do you recognize anyone in the courtroom who was a member of Nine Trey when you were a member? Yes. Who do you recognize? And if you can identify that person, could you identify where they're sitting and an article of clothing that person may be wearing? Harv Anthony Allison has on a gray suit and Nuke has a brown suit and a white thing on his head. Your Honor, may the record reflect that the witness has identified Mr. Mack and Mr. Allison. Yes, the record reflects that Mr. Hernandez in sequence identified Mr. Allison and then Mr. Mack. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Hernandez, we'll turn back to Nine Trey in a minute. But before, I'd like to ask some questions about your life before Nine Trey. Where did you grow up? Raised and lived in Bushwick, Brooklyn. Where did you go to school? For elementary, I went to PS 59. Middle school, I went to Juan Moro Campos and high school, Legacy High School. Did you work? Yes. What did you do? I started working at the, I want to say at the age of 13. My first job was at the community youth court, a job that handled misdemeanor cases with youth where youth acts like a judge, jury type of thing. I did that for about two months. Mr. Hernandez, I'm going to cut you off. I think that you're speaking so close to the mic that you're blurring some of your words. Maybe move a bit back from the mic and keep your voice up and speak slowly. So I did that for about a year. I didn't make a lot of money doing that. So I started working with my brother bussing tables. I did that for about a year and a half. And then I got a job at a grocery store, Stay Fresh Grill, where I worked as a delivery boy. I did that about two years. I worked up to register. Shortly after that, I landed another busboy job, and then after that, became a rapper. So, you said that you started a music career, is that right? Yes. Approximately when did that happen? I'd say around 2014. And how did that come about? Well, at the, at the store I was working in, Stay Fresh Grill, there was a guy by the name of Peter Rogers always, always coming in there, buying things like tilapia, peanuts, stuff like that. He asked me if I, if I make music, if I rap. I was like, no. And he was like, well, you got the image for it. You look cool. I was like, you know, I took it into consideration and we started making music with the guy. And again, this is around 2014? Yes, sir, like late 2014, like September. So when you started making music around September 2014, what type of music were you making? It was more of like a rock and roll rap. Approximately how many records or songs did you release? Eight, I believe. I believe around eight. Did you go on any tours? Yeah. Where did you tour? Eastern Europe. I toured Prague, Slovakia, Prague, Czech Republic, St. Petersburg, Russia, and Moscow. 
were you making any money at this time as a metal rap performer? I mean, for all those shows I made about 2,000 profit, I did it just for the experience. Mr. Hernandez, did there come a time when the type of music you recorded changed? Yes. Approximately when did that happen? Around, it changed in September of 2017. Directing your attention to September 2017, did there come a time when you filmed a music video in Brooklyn? Yes, sir. Where in Brooklyn? Bedford Stuyvesant, Brooklyn on Madison between Tompkins Avenue and Throop. Do you remember the address? I believe, I want to say it's 370 Madison. 370? 370. Ms. Harney, can we please pull up for the witness what's been marked for identification as Government Exhibit 202? Mr. Hernandez, do you see Government Exhibit 202? Yes. What is that? 370 Madison. Is that a photograph of 370 Madison? Yes, sir. Does it fairly and accurately depict the way 370 Madison looked? Yes, sir. Your Honor, the government offers Government Exhibit 202. Any objection? No objection. No objection. Received. May we publish it, Your Honor? Yes. You filmed the music video in front of 370 Madison? Yes, sir. What was the name of that song? Gummo. Gummo. G-U-M-M-O. Miss Harney, can you take down 202? Mr. Hernandez, how did the filming of Gummo come about? Around August of 2017, I made the song Gummo. At this time, I had signed a management deal with Chris E, who was my press manager. When I met Chris E, I signed a 20% management deal where I would give him 20% of my earnings. He had a best friend named Seiko Billy. Being that Seiko Billy was Chris E's best friend, I would be around him a lot, so I made the song Gummo, and I put a line in there saying that, in them hood with them Billy, and I'm recording in my hood, in the hood with them Billy them hoover if the court reporter doesn't hear what you said you need to repeat it so she can write it down i'm recording a song that says in the hood with hoover and billy hoover and billy now so so then i put that line in the song when i was ready to film the video i approached seiko billy and i asked him if we could get billy was nine tray so i asked him if we could get some nine tray members to be part of the video because I wanted the aesthetic to be, you know, full with nine tray blood members because I'm in the song. Mr. Hernandez, let me pause you right there. Ms. Harney, if we could please pull up what's been marked for identification for the witness, Government Exhibit 22. That's Seiko Billy. That's a photograph of Seiko Billy? Yes. Does that fairly and accurately depict what he looks like? Yes. Your Honor, the government offers Government's Exhibits 22 and 22A, which is the nameplate Seiko Billy. Any objection? No, no objection. No objection. Received. Your Honor, may we publish Government Exhibit 22? Yes. Mr. Hernandez, who is Seiko Billy? Seiko Billy is a nine train member. He was the first one I ever knew. Came like he's the one I met first. I met him in the studio in Williamsburg. So then again, we, we would meet a lot because he would be my best friend's manager. So I made the song. I asked him for permission if we could shoot video and a week later he said that you know we the video was going to happen and I think we came out for that Saturday for whatever reason I don't know it got postponed I don't know if we shot it the week after or the very next day and that's how the video came about so I got it approved from him and and he set it up and again this took place approximately September of 2017 yes sir around September or August now, Mr. Hernandez, did there come a time when you actually went to film Gummo? Yes, so the day that I went to film Gummo, I was with my best friend, Andrew Green. We got in a text from Seiko. Chris, I forgot who, I believe it was Seiko because he sent me the address of 370 Madison. That's the place of residence where he lived at. So me and Andrew Green walked there. Oh, before we walked there, I went, I told Seiko that I would like them to all be in red. Why red? Because red is is what a blood member would wear. So I want the video to be full of red. So before the video shoot, I went to go buy over 3000 red bandanas and I showed them to 370 Madison. Right after that, when I got there, Seiko greeted me and introduced me to Shadi. Shadi was at the top of the stairs. When I met him, I, I went straight to him and he said, what's up, homie, we are here for you. Whatever you need, we here. 